Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in our last video, we unwrapped this globe model in Maya and exported our asset for texturing. So today let's import our model in Substance Painter and start texturing. Let's create a new document for this model and uh, let's import our mesh. And for this, I'm going to take the resolution to 048 and normal map format OpenGL and just leave the rest of the settings to default. Hit OK. So first of all, let's go to texture set settings and uh, go to bake mesh maps. And since we are not using any ID map, let's deselect this one. And I'm going to change the output size to 4096 and, uh, and click on this use low poly mesh as high poly mesh. Also change the anti-aliasing to let's say 4x4 and click on this bake selected texture since we are using 4K output size is going to take a few minutes to complete this baking. So our maps are done. Let's go back to layers and let's select this uh, metal layer. And for this metal part, we are going to use this smart material, bronze armor. And uh, we are going to use a stencil for some detailing. So I have this stencil created in Photoshop. Let's import this in Substance and define this as texture. Now take a new fill layer and turn off color, roughness, metal and normal. Decrease the height to minus 0.1 rename it and add a black mask then take a paint and in this paint uh, go to this stencil and drop that texture here now open this 3d and 2d view and let's So you can press S to control this uh, stencil. So press and hold S and then with your middle mouse button you can move it around and with your right mouse button you can zoom in and out. Place this stencil here on this UV. And now let's texture this. Now go back to 3D only and uh, re remove this stencil. And we have our detailing here. And uh, our metal texture is pretty much done. So let's import the map for this globe. So again, I'm going to go in this folder and I'm using these maps. You can download these maps from the link in the description. So let's import them here and define them as texture. So let's go back to your texture set list and select this sphere. And uh, Take a new fill layer, turn off height, roughness, metal and normal and just select this map and place it in the base color here. Now again uh, change the viewport to 3D and 2D and let's place this like this. Just adjust this texture and uh, align it with this UV here like this and you can rotate it like this to 180 and you can enable your roughness map 
uh, to add a little bit of roughness to this globe something like this let's add 0 0.4 and you can add a few more details so let's change the viewport to 3d only and uh, rename it as map then right click and uh, add a filter and take the contrast decrease the contrast to minus 0 0.05 and also the luminosity to minus 0 0.1 now on the top of this uh, contrast and luminosity add uh, levels and increase the shadow and midtone something like this now take a new fill layer and uh, turn off the metal and normal increase the roughness to 0 0.5 and uh, change the color to something like this right click and add a black mask and let's add a fill and in this fill let's search for scratches and select this scratch here decrease the height to minus 0 0.01 or minus 0.2 0 2 and uh, change the projection to tri planner and also increase the balance a little then scale let's change it to 3 just to add some damage you can go back here and uh, change the color something like this and you can add uh, some text here if you want but uh, I'm pretty happy with the result so I'm going to export this now and if you see something like this you can go back to 3d and 2d view and just select this texture and uh, just move it around like this and hide this seam so that's it for uh, today's video let's render this once here Let's enable this post effect and uh, I'm going to use the vignette. Increase the strength a little. Something like this. And a globe model is ready. You can export these textures and then render it in Marmoset or Maya. So let's stop the render and uh, go to file and here click on this export texture but before doing that let's go to texture set list and rename it our materials so this one is metal and uh, this one is map now let's go to file and uh, click on this export texture select your folder So we are going to render this in Maya. So I'm going to select this Arnold AI standard and uh, I'm going to take the size 4K and just leave the rest of the settings to default and click on this export. 
So that's it for today and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. You can also join this channel and uh, become a member. You'll find all the necessary links in the description so check them out. I'll see you in the next video. Till then thanks for watching.